Hello, everybody, and welcome to this very special edition of Investing with Confidence, sponsored by Online Trading Academy. If you're a first-time listener, thanks for stopping by. I am your host, Joshua David, and we are happy to have you with us today. Al, my good friend is here with me, and is, with this special edition, we have a Santa Claus rally. Have you been naughty, or have you been nice? Well, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm just going to wait and see what turns up in my stocking this year. Yeah, I'm just cold again. I'm, I'm, getting t- I'm tired of getting coal every you're, year. You're a coal miner this year. But you know what, Al? Let's talk about the stock market. Even, even though it's just phenomenal Christmas weekend, and we had a Santa Claus rally, as always. Nice nice moves this week in the in the stock market. Uh, especially here uh, on Wednesday, or no, Thursday. Good. Thursday, yeah, mm-hmm. nice, great move on Thursday. Right. Obviously, Christmas Eve on on Friday. But we're going to do something a little bit different here today. We're going to kind of recap a lot of what the stock market did this past year, uh, some of the different ups, some of the downs, some of the different performers of the year. Mm-hmm. And that's what we're going to do here today on Investing with Confidence. And Online Trading Academy, the sponsor of Investing with Confidence, actually on their 25th year, teaching people just like you how to trade and invest in the stock market. Also, futures, forex, options, cryptocurrency, teaching people those skills to make smart investing decisions. And with this stock market, we had some big high flyers. Right. But let's talk through a little bit some of those, uh, I guess, busiest stocks or the mm-hmm. top, top 10 stocks bought by retailers in 2021. And as everybody probably knows, the number one stock this year was Apple. And Apple was actually, you know, there was r- roughly around 7 point, sorry, $11.91 billion mm-hmm. in net purchases, which is actually year to date up about uh, 29% yeah. from last year. Great opportunities. Current price of, as the recording doing the show here today of, uh, of Apple, right around $176. And it's been soaring in 2021 yeah let's talk a little bit about that why do you think some of the reasons apple soared had some good moves um i don't know maybe a little bit of fundamental information but remember want to do what price is actually telling us to do yeah first of all apple was not the top performing stock of the year what we're going to be talking about are the top probably the top 10 uh that are most widely held by the public by the retailers Yeah, yeah by the retailers you know a lot of people that you you mentioned we're in record territory again but a lot of people that come in are saying, how can the market be up so much and and I'm not? Well, if you were in the market and you were not in, say, the top seven or eight stocks in the S&P 500, you probably lost money for the year That's right. barely broke even. And that's going to reflect on some, on this top 10 we're going to talk about today. Exactly. The S&P 500 for the year is up about, about 24%, but the top 10 stocks in the S&P 500 were all up over 100%. So that means there are a lot of stocks that didn't perform well. But let's talk about the top 10 that are most widely held by the public because a lot of people would think, well, that must mean that they had the best performance, which isn't necessarily the truth. But Apple, we started out with Apple. I mean, everybody knows about Apple. It's probably the most uh, well-known company in the world, and it's heading towards a $3 trillion uh, market cap. It's huge. But, you know, there's a couple of things that really have been propelling Apple. One is that it almost has a cult following. It does. You know, if you go to a mall uh, where they have an Apple store, sometimes there's a line waiting to, you can't to even get, get in. Right. So everybody knows Apple. Most people own something made by Apple or want to. Apple uh, is now talking about a car that mm-hmm. helped to kind of propel the stock. And uh, and so everybody knows about it and everybody realizes that that it has some real value there. And, and it, it has for years. So it's not only the public that's in investing in it, but also the the big firms, the hedge funds, uh, mutual funds. They all have big positions in Apple. So that's really what has kind of boosted it. A nice return for the year, uh, up twenty nine percent. That's a good steady stock. And these top ten, they're probably stocks that people that are looking at at kind of more of a buy and hold, more of a long term strategy, yeah. are holding on to. And in stocks, we've always said that that. Individual equities, individual stocks are the best long-term um, asset to hold. But that doesn't mean you have to just buy something and hold on to it. You can manage it and, and get better returns. Yeah, real quick here. Number two, actually, Advanced Micro Devices, AMD, right. mm-hmm. another high flyer uh, on the year. So, you know, for especially for retailers, net purchases right around $7.39 billion, actually up about 50% on the right. year. It's up about 50%. But, you know, that's year-to-date. 
Yep. Uh, all of these stocks, I think almost everyone, um, maybe with the exception of, of Apple, uh, has actually hit a high that's higher than where they are now. If you look at the 52-week high, most of them are off of that. In fact, uh, AMD, uh, Advanced Micro Devices, even though it's up 50% year-to-date, it's still down 10% from its 52-week high. Yep, down so, 10%. And that's in the past well, two months, sir. Yeah. Uh, two, I, two, two, I, two and a half months. AMD had a monster rally in November. Uh, it was up about 40% in, in November. Yep. And, and I think one of the points to, to make here with that, if you are managing your portfolio, you don't have to necessarily hold on to something, and you don't necessarily have to sell something to get returns that might exceed what the stock alone is doing. And, and that's using something like options with your with your stock. But if you also know how to time the market, time changes in the price of something, it gives you an opportunity to protect profits, maybe get back into a stock later after it's pulled uh, down a bit. Uh, and, and if you can get out at the right time, you've got a little bit more money to maybe even buy more shares after it's, uh, it's, it's dropped a bit. You're and, right. And I think almost every stock that we're going to be talking about, you can go back and you look at the charts and you can find areas where using a timing strategy like our core strategy would have given you an opportunity to take a profit and then re-enter again at a lower price. You're right. I mean, that's what it all comes down to in the markets is timing. And, you know, even though we're talking about some of these stocks that have been done real well and the most widely held by the retailers, as I was talking about, not every stock did that. And there's so many stocks out there. And I think a lot of people just have a tough time picking which stocks, exactly. you know, really to choose from. And at Online Trading Academy, the sponsor of Investing with Confidence actually teaches people just like you skills and techniques to, to time the market, to, to how to find the right stocks, whether you're looking for these, you know, these longer term positions, you know, say like in retirement accounts, or maybe just a longer term strategy, or even short term strategies. So say you're, someone is looking for income potential in the market, you know, different techniques and strategies for that. But also you want to be in the right stocks for that as well. Because if you're in the wrong stock, as we've seen this year, markets looked really good overall, but not every stock went up. So, Al, let's begin the show, and it's the Christmas holiday. I'm in the, I'm in the giving mood, and I want to give away some tickets here today for an investing class that you actually teach right here in Bloomington. I do. And you talk a lot about these different stock investments, these different opportunities that, you know, us as retailers have in the markets, you know, whether we're looking for short-term income potential or maybe just, just – longer to a longer term perspective of the market of more investing i'm going to give away those 20 tickets for colors one through ten right here in bloomington we have these classes that are about two hours and uh i want to give away that plus a financial quick start kit which will actually help you get started right away call 952-814-4410 that's 952-814-4410 now we're going to continue talking about some of these uh highly well uh held retail stocks uh, by the investors coming up, then coming up on the next one is actually a Chinese electric vehicle maker. Uh -huh. Coming up next, we'll be right back. <laughs> 